Hey, welcome back to the garden pit. Hey, today we're putting together a rain gutter growing system. Uh, I got the idea from a guy named Larry Hall from Brandon, Minnesota. Uh, I'm going to show you what's going on with it. Hold on. Here's a couple of them I put together already. I'll give you the lowdown what, uh, what I did to get them together. What you need is a nice 10 feet long piece of vinyl gutter, real easy to work with. What I did was I put some holes in them. Put a hole every foot. And at the, at the end, give yourself about two inches because you get to pop that end cap on there. All right, there's the uh, end caps. The one piece here I uh, put a hole in for it put a uh, float and I put in there as you can see they have a plastic gasket in them but uh, I'm going to also seal the, the uh, seams up with uh, some uh, silicone there to make sure nothing leaks out so, uh, I'm going to snap them on now They're a little rough to snap on but uh, they get on there that gasket uh, Makes a nice tight All seal. Right, what you need now is uh, two 10 foot 2x4s pressure treated there to attach your rain gutter to. And what I'm fastening the rain gutter to the 2x4s with is the, uh, sorry about that. Call them roofing screws. We got a, uh, a rubber grommet on the head with the washer. That way the water doesn't leak out. So I'm going to attach that to that right now and I'll be right back with you. Yeah, I got it all bolted in there now. So you can see. Oops, I missed one. I have to fix that, but uh, you can see you can see uh, the idea here. Yeah, I, I let it down about a quarter inch from the top there. Next I'm going to be putting these uh, two foot pieces on the bottom for like uh, feet to stabilize it. And you get all that weight on there, you don't want that thing rolling over. It might not like it is, but I'm not going to take any chances, especially the way I'm going to be doing it. And uh, put them end caps on for you uh, put the wood Bolt that wood wood to the uh, gutter there. You can see what that. Uh, you be uh, have to re redo it a little bit there if you don't. There it is. Got the third one done. I'm doing three of them this year. Uh, all I got to do is uh, seal seal the joints up on on these, and uh, that'll be it for phase one of this gutter garden project here's the uh, floats I'm going to be installing there they're adjustable so I can get as uh, little water or as much water as I can in the uh, gutter they weren't too bad like seven and a half bucks for one of them hey I got the buckets all ready to go the holes in the bottom through the neck cups in this is what I'm going to be doing for the night tomorrow. I'll work on the plumbing and get these filled with the uh, soil. Sky riding, Preakness day here. This is for the fans at the Preakness there. I'm not that far away from it. There's the bandit. That's the inside cat. What do you say? Anyway, I got the plumbing done. I got a two-way splitter here. I got the water supply going to the gutter. Got a garden going along the wall, across the porch, 
I got it along the rail, got it uh, fastened down with some uh, three quarter inch EMT straps. Got going up to here, get an elbow going into the uh, four way manifold. Then I got some uh, more elbows there, yeah, that, uh, you know, keep it from kinking. And I got to go along here, just keep it above ground, that way I don't have to move it every time I cut the grass. Kind of attached here. One of them goes down here. I don't know if you notice, I got uh, quick release connectors on everything. So I just pop them off if need be. Uh, here's the other one goes across here and down into there. Just uh, remember there, you gotta watch that that net cup there. You make sure it's not hitting that float there, so the float will uh, work properly. In the bottom of the bucket, you you want to get a uh, hole saw and put a get a hole saw that's uh, two and seven eighths inch and. Uh, Put yourself a hole in there, and your neck cup fits right in there. Drops right in there, and what you want to do is pack your pack your uh, soil in that in that neck cup real tight. But I, this is an unfinished batch here. What I'm using is a one five gallon bucket of horse manure, one five gallon bucket of peat moss, and one five gallon bucket of uh, <clears throat> uh, compost. Then I'm putting in uh, three cups, three of those cups there are the, of the uh, all natural vegetable fertilizer. Then I'm putting in uh, about a half cup of the azomite rock dust. Then I'm putting in a cup of the uh, lime. Then I'm <clears throat> putting in about a half cup of the uh, kelp meal. Then I'm adding perlite. I'm uh, putting in nine cups of this perlite in that mixture. Uh, it'll make me three buckets. Seems like it's working wa well. Don't forget that when you do that, wet that, put that peat moss in that wheelbarrow first and wet that down pretty good there because it's very dusty. Plus, you want it to absorb some water before you put it in the bucket or it's not going to soak up the uh, water out of the gutter. But that's it. That's the rain gutter. You got two more buckets to full, fill up and I'm done I gotta get all them plants in the ground this weekend it's supposed to rain next weekend there's the old greenhouse cover over there under I don't know if you can see it under the tables there I get that folded up and put away but that's it and hopefully uh, this will work out there I'm going to put one right down the middle there probably later. The other one I built right down the middle on the ground. See how that does. Hey, thanks for watching. Take it easy. Keep it growing. See ya.